everyone, it's Jamie Zebra 23. Um, I'm on all social media, it's Jamie Zebra 23. Uh, if you'd like a personal reading, you can check out the website, jamiezebra23.com. My readings are 20 minutes, 40 minutes, and 60 minutes. I typically do your readings within 24 to 48 hours. I also have a new feature, same day readings. It's a little pricier, but you do get your readings the same day. I also have an $8 one question, one answer via email only. I typically answer you within about 20 minutes. So please be sure to write your email addresses correctly so that I can email you back fairly quickly. Also on the website, jamiezebra23.com, I've got full-size candles, do-it-yourself love kits, protection kits, prosperity kits. Crystal stones, pendants, Florida water, Florida water soap, incense sage, protection bracelets, pendulums for divination and prophecy. I also have a 10-minute tarot card reading for $25. It's not the reading special. This is something different. This is something that will be on the website every day from now on on jamiezebra23.com. Also, um, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. Keep in mind that the readings are general, so this is not, they are not personal readings, so they may or may not resonate. So please be sure to check out your sun, your moon, and your rising videos for further insight. Also, keep in mind... Um, that um, you must place an order before I can schedule you. So there's no need to email me and ask me what's on the website when you can simply go to the website and check yourself, right? So, um, and if you have any questions about the items on my website, you simply go to the description box of the item on the website and it tells you the times, the dates, um, when you should hear back from me, what the protocol is, all of that can simply be found by just going to the website and looking at the description. All right, guys, uh, please like, share, subscribe, and comment. Ta-ta for now. Hi, my Capricorns, it's Jamie Zebra 23. I am doing your week of February 8th, 2021. General reading for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cross Watchers. I hope you guys are doing well out there. I hope life is good. Um, these are general, so they may or may not resonate. I will be pulling six cards from each pile and then using the, uh, the regular tarot cards. Um, there may or may not be noise in this video. Um, I do have children. If that's upsetting to you, you're more than welcome to click off. For those of you that are going to say, Jamie, don't you think we're grown enough to know? Many of you are not grown enough to know because I get really psychotic emails about this. So I'm not putting the kids up for adoption to do your free readings. This message is for those of you that like to write me hate emails. This is not for those of you that understand this. Okay, so let's see. Six cards for Capricorn. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cross Watchers. Okay. for the week of February 8th, 2021. Yes, yeah, so many balloons. Okay, so first card out is you've got carrot. Opportunity or windfall. So this week you have an opportunity or a windfall. Now, you, some of you may be dealing with an Aries or somebody that's stubborn and aggressive. Stubborn and aggressive person and then you got rabbit. Too much concern with sexual matters. So you could be dealing with somebody who maybe, you know, maybe your life is good, but the only problem is you've got somebody who's very pushy, very controlling, and maybe you could be getting sexually harassed this week. Uh, of course, that's not good. And then we have stepping into a new experience. So for some of you, you're getting rid of that out with the old and in with the new. So you're stepping into a new experience. And then it looks like here, whatever this new experience will be, it'll be a positive change. Then we have the month of May. Hand, in need of help, assistance, and guidance. So for some of you in May, you may, you may be, you know, you might need some wise counsel. Yeah, so, and then you got claw. Be careful, do not take any risks. Yeah. Don't quit your jobs. Because you said, be careful, don't take risks. In, in, uh, and then he says, in need of help and assistance. And then we have your bag. Something important such as a new job or a raise. So you might, please don't quit your job. You will eventually get another job, but don't quit your job unless you have a job to go to and then we have flag don't be tempted to lower your standards so there could be somebody who's offering you money and nothing but money maybe they maybe they're a liar or a cheater there could be somebody romantically or even a friendship where it's a very one-sided friendship
but you feel like, ah, eh, I might as well let them in. You know, they're, they bought me dinner or they're helping me with this. No, no, don't be tempted to lower your standards. And then we have funnel. Period of frustration, lessons to be learned. Again, try not to quit your jobs because the universe may teach you a lesson like, okay, next time you better have a job before you quit your job. So it could take you a long, long time to get another job. So don't do that. And then we have, you should accept valid criticism. And then you have money will be coming to you. There is money coming to you, but you have to just stay calm. Just be, be, be at peace because it's coming. And then you should accept valid criticism. So if somebody's like, you have a bad attitude, maybe you should, you know, knock it off. Maybe accept it. Um, I've gotten some criticism that, that was valid. And I definitely changed my tune in a lot of ways. So, I mean, over the years, for sure. You know, some sometimes we can't look at ourselves fairly. We can't be like, oh, yeah, you, you, you. Until somebody maybe says, hey, you, and you know you're mean or you're this or you're that. And you're like, really? And you start thinking back, wow, I, I guess I, my delivery could have been better. Wow, maybe I guess I did do something wrong there. You know what? It's, I have to change. And then take steps to change. That's for every, that's not. And just because somebody needs, there's, there's room for improvement from every, for everyone. Not just for me, not just for you. It's not about pointing fingers for all of us. I'm sure all of us can find an area in our day to day where we can do better right there's nothing wrong with that so it's saying accept valid criticism all right my capricorn um sun moon rising venus and cross watchers let's move on to the next deck my capricorns part two for the week of february 8th 2021 for my capricorn sun moon rising venus and cross watchers i hope you guys are doing well out there i hope life is good let's see what the energies are for the week let's see okay so um it looks like we do have scorpion energy here but also secretive energy I feel like this week, you guys really need to pay attention to what's going on around you. For some of you, this could be a matter of people just out to get you for no reason. This could be some things going on behind the scenes that you're not aware of. This is sage, by the way. It's for it's for uh, cleansing. It's spiritual cleansing. It's not a cigarette. Um, but anyway, um, could be a Scorpio involved, could be a Pisces involved, or just a very shady, secretive person. Okay, now, I do see that there is offers of love coming in this week. Could be coming from two people or three. Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio, Taurus, or a um, Sagittarius or Aries. I also feel like somebody could be doing spiritual work this week to try to block your love life, Capricorn. Maybe you're doing spiritual work this week to try to block someone's love life. It could be you or it could be somebody else. But who's ever trying to get in the way of somebody else's life, it doesn't work with the Five of Swords. Somebody's losing. Somebody lost. Um... A really bad defeat here. That's who's ever messing with someone. They're they're gonna lose. It's gonna it's gonna backfire on them. It's gonna come back on them. Okay. So it could be it could be a fellow Earth sign that's doing this to you, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. There is I I feel like strong energy of Taurus and Virgo. They could be doing spiritual work just to get you to not move on. Okay. It's like I just want to keep you. I just want to hoard you until I want you again. Like, I'm just going to give you just enough. I'm, um, there's a squirrel here. You know how squirrels collect nuts for the winter and they hoard them away for later? I feel like somebody's hoarding away what they want. So you're what they want. They want to, they want to, come on, just, just climb into that tree trunk. Yes. Just climb into that tree trunk. Okay. Just, just stay where I put you. I know, Mama. Don't say I'm worse. Okay, yeah, don't climb into a tree trunk. Don't, yeah, don't do that. I was just kidding. Okay, so we got the Knight of Pentacles and we got the Three of Cups. So I do see that there is a reunion that's coming slow with a Capricorn, a Taurus, or a Virgo. I love it. I do have children. If that's upsetting to you guys, you're more than welcome to click off and not come back. <gasps> yeah. Because um, I'm not going to deal with the emails. I heard a noise. Oh, there were people talking. No, oh, she's got kids. No, Mama. Don't go eat kids. Okay. So if you guys don't like it, you can leave. Bye. But anyway. No, um, so we got the three of cups and we got the ace of swords here. There, somebody's going to ask you guys out on a proper date. It's going to be like, what do you want? Like, okay, since you're done with Netflix and chill, can we go on a proper date? Like, is that what you want from me? I made reservations. Will you at least go to dinner with me? So I feel like somebody's going to try to do the right thing. So if some of you are saying no more, this person's saying, oh, no, no, it's not over. I'll do what you want me to do. Is this what you wanted? Oh, you want flowers? I can do flowers. You want candy? We can do candy. Oh, 
Or you want to do a date. I'll pull out the seat and we'll do the whole thing. Let's have steaks and straw strawberries uh, dipped in chocolate. So somebody's like, okay, we can do it. I can play. I love it. All right, guys, if you've ordered... You're doing a very good job. Thank you. If you've ordered a $10 one question, one answer via email only or a same day reading and you've not heard from me within about 45 minutes, feel free to email me to let me know so I can hurry up and answer your questions, hurry up and do your readings. Also, the reading special is still going on for a few more hours on jamiezebra23.com. Um, just keep in mind, reading specials are done in 7 to 10 days after purchase. If you don't want to wait 7 to 10 days after purchase to get a reading special, you can always order a same-day reading, which is done the same day, or you can order a regular reading, which is done in 24 to 72 hours after purchase. And, oh no. and I've got a second tarot card channel. It's Jamie Zebra 23 Chat. If you guys want to go over there, like, share, subscribe, and comment, that would be super-duper lovely. Also... I am available 365 days a year, seven days a week. That includes Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, every day. Yep, yep, jamiezebra23.com. Ta-ta for now. Hi, it's jamiezebra23. Sorry to interrupt the reading, but if you guys are interested in a personal reading, you can simply go to the first 30 seconds of this video, and it tells you... Um, where to make a purchase, jamiezebra23.com. It tells you about the same-day reading, so you don't have to wait. Same-day readings. Also an $8 one question, one answer via email only. I typically answer you within about 20 minutes. Plus, I've got tons of products on the website for protection, for cleansing, for energetic healing, all sorts of goods on the website, jamiezebra23.com. You simply go to the first 30 seconds of the video, and it will explain all of this stuff. No need to email me to ask me if I do personal readings when you can simply go to the first 30 seconds, and also the description box says it too. jamiezebra23.com. Enjoy the rest of your reading. Hi everyone, it's Jamie Zebra 23 so I have a fans-only account if you guys want to skip over there and um, check it out. It's uh, pretty much for guys. Um, it's not that raunchy, but it may be a little bit of fun. Jamie Zebra 23 ta-ta for now.